Gregory. Anthony is a research fellow at the Independent Institute and uh, author of The Power of Habeas Corpus in America uh, and a really good friend. Anthony, it's so awesome to see you again. Hey, Kyle, it's great to see you. So there have been a lot of states recently, and there's been a national movement to uh, make vapor cigarettes or electronic cigarettes illegal, to ban them. Um, you know, I for one find this incredibly wrongheaded, considering that electronic cigarettes are a much healthier alternative to smoking, and it seems to me that they're helping a lot of people quit smoking. But honestly, I mean, does this argument just boil down to, ew, it looks like smoking? And have we been so conditioned to believe that anything that looks like smoking is absolutely awful, that, that we're gonna ban something that, that will probably save, you know, maybe hundreds of thousands of lives? I mean, that, this just seems ridiculous to me. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. Uh, E-cigarettes, uh, you know, maybe the nicotine, nicotine's not good for you, but tobacco smoke is, is the biggest problem there. Sure. And, and E-cigarettes, they're not totally benign, but they're a lot more benign than a lot of things people eat, you know, it seems to me. And it's just kind of this puritanical, oh, that guy looks, look, they're having fun with their e-cigarettes, with their newfangled, you know, robo smoke. Let's crack down because they're enjoying themselves. Uh, no, it's terrible. It shows that they're not, that the, the goal isn't public health as much as control because, you know, tobacco and, and, and alcohol are the two recreational drugs, and I guess caffeine, that they let Americans do generally. And they're, you know, among the worst for people. But here we have something that's a lot less bad, a version of the nicotine uh, drug. And I guess they're, you know, to be fair, they're, they're not singling it out for more restriction than tobacco smoke. But with tobacco smoke, you know, I think that if your private property owner wants to let you smoke anything, uh, crack, tobacco, uh, salmon, or brisket on their property, that should be their right, right? But... You know, let's say you don't believe in libertarianism or whatever, and you're like, yeah, but we all have to be in this bar, and the smoke's bothering me. I mean, that's not a libertarian argument, but it's some kind of argument. But the vapor doesn't, it looks like something, but then it just kind of, I don't know, I can barely smell it. Right. Yeah, me either. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I find You know what I object to way more than that? You know what? I what? is when people put the wrong condiments on their food. And I'm sitting there and I have to look at them ruining food. Obviously. That bothers me. And so why should I be subjected to that just because I want to go out and eat in public? What's the worst? Um, well, I won't, I won't say who. I have a libertarian friend that people know in the movement and he puts ketchup on his prime rib. I have another friend who actually puts ketchup on his salami sandwiches. That sounds awful. But he hates tomato on salami. He thinks that's inappropriate and disgusting. And then he puts ketchup on salami. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of any excuse. Like, there's all kinds of things you can do with ketchup. You can do like a curry worst type thing. But you wouldn't use like a salami with that. No. You you could do a barbecue sauce based on ketchup, but you wouldn't eat that with salami. I mean, I'm pretty open-minded about food. No, the, the only thing I can think of with, with that is, you know, there just ought to be a law. Let's be honest. If, there, if that was a law, it'd be the last law I'd repeal. I think that the I'd repeal it because I'm an anarchist. But there's a lot of things that we should legalize before ketchup on salami. Absolutely. I mean, think about the things that ketchup's good with. I'm not anti-ketchup, okay? I'm an American, red, white, and blue, right? 
ketchup's good on hamburgers? It is. Yeah. I'm totally fine with that. I know it's very controversial, and I don't do it, but for the sake of the children, I will even defend an unrefined palate's affinity to ketchup on a hot dog. Oh, my God. Did I just lose half your audience? Oh, my God. <laughs> what do you... Ketchup... <laughs> Probably. Ke ketchup with fried... With French fries is classic. Ketchup with some other kinds of random fried foods when you can't make anything else work. If you dip a fried shrimp or an onion ring in ketchup, I'll understand. Maybe you don't have horseradish or ranch or an aioli, whatever. That kind of works. Make meatloaf, pasta sauce. Wait, what am I saying? No, no pasta sauce. But... <laughs> But I bet you can make that work. Sure. I mean, barbecue sauce, of course, right? Wait, Oklahoma, what do you guys do? Is I, that like, is it like Texas where they're like, we don't put sauce, we just eat dry beef with a bunch of rub on it? Is that like that? Well, I like sauce. I think we like sauce here. But, okay, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, we just yeah. have to ban it, though. We just have to, we have to ban all this... Uh, you know this but all yeah ketchup doesn't work with almost anything else if anyone has other items that i've overlooked please ha send them to me and um you could hit me up on facebook or or track me down uh, i i would i would like to to see some, to open my mind definitely definitely well anthony it's been uh just an awesome pleasure, as always. Uh, it's so fun to talk to you, and uh, you know, really appreciate you coming on today and chiming in on these issues, and uh, you know, talking about food, which I always like doing. You know, I, one day I'd like to do like you know, just thirty minutes of us talking about food, but no one will watch it. I don't really care. One day. I mean, we can anytime you want. <laughs> let's let's. I want to do that every day. Every day. Okay, we'll do that every single I, day. I I I can do that. You know, until we don't have any listeners, I'm perfectly fine. I don't even care. If I if I think you're not listening, I might be tempted to stop. But really, I just like listening to myself talk about that subject. Oh, definitely, definitely. Well, uh, have a great day, Anthony. Thanks so much for uh, for being on. Uh, you're welcome, Kyle, and uh, thank you for everything you do for Liberty. And thank you for being a good guy. And thank you for not ruining delicious cuts of meat with ketchup. Absolutely. Anytime. Anytime. Have a good one. You too. All right.